Welcome back to Let's Play Internet Spaceships with Captain Muffins. Last time we were just running level 1 missions there. Uh, While that may have been a really quick mission, normally level 1s are really easy, so not much explanation or examples are needed for that. You can run in pretty much any tier 1 frigate you're running. Uh, level 2s are a different story. The fitting can really make a difference if you're still running in a frigate. If you do got the skills, I'd recommend just jumping up to a cruiser or a destroyer. And stick with that since it'll have a lot more damage output as well as more tank compared to the frigate. However, I will just keep using this ship until I actually do lose it to a mission. So what we're going to do now is open up the agent finder like last time. And all we gotta do is click 2, set destination, and make our way there. Now, as with the previous video there, um, I neglected to mention, but any time I use different ship fitting or any tools that are useful for the time being, I'll post them in the video description for you guys to grab. One big one I use is Python Fitting Assistant. A lot of people tend to use eFitting tool. I've never been a big fan of the ship browser in that, so I've always used Python Fitting Assistant. I like it. It seems to run faster on my computers as well, and I can use it on Linux. Uh, definitely will post a link to that for you guys in the description there. Another tool I use is an Eve shopping list. It lets you paste ship fitting in there and it'll save it onto a page there that will let you go through it and click the links and it'll open up the market items so it makes buying ships a lot easier for you. For example, you click the fit here, click the item you want, and it'll open this up, and it'll make it a lot easier to buy it for you. Definitely a great tool there, so I'll also put that in the video description for the first and this video as well, and any future videos that are regarding combat, or anything you may need to use this website for. Uh, you can see my modules are a little misplaced than they were last time. I accidentally stripped my ship so I had to put everything back on there. So we're just heading to the station now and I'll grab that mission and show you what a level 2 is like. So what we want to do now is click on the agent here after we found the station he's in and double click to open the conversation and grab that mission. And I'm looking for more of one that's more exciting so I'll decline that one. Uh, be mindful when you are declining missions. If you decline one more than every four hours you will take a standing hit there. So this one is a little bit away, so we're going to have some jumps to do, and we'll go there and complete the mission. What I was trying to do there was just look at the planet. Uh, one video I'll quickly cover later is planetary interaction. If you're just starting out, it's a nice way to get AFK away from the keyboard. ISK for very little effort that you can do anywhere within EVE. Um, I'll just have to make sure I do have the skills for that before I make that video. Since I haven't done planetary interaction on this character I'm using. And when I do do that video, I'll also post the spreadsheet I used a long time ago to try and do planetary interaction. 
that would find good items to make on there if I was manufacturing them on there. Again, that's something I'll more explain in that video rather than these videos. Alright, so now that we're here, what we want to do is, again with the last one, which is expand this area, and warp to location. To avoid clicking on any of these modules up here, you can hit F1, F2, F3, all the way up to, I believe, F8. Yes, F8. Uh, if you don't want to click on them, that definitely works. If you got things in the second row here, as you can see here, it lists all the key maps, so you can even Alt F4 and not exit the game. So what I'm going to do is open up the combat log here, just so I can see what hits me hardest here, just in case I need to switch the primary target I'm attacking. And this is where the afterburner really comes into use here. Because instead of moving 500 meters per second, it will bump me up to 1.2 kilometers per second, which with how far they are away, is definitely useful. So what I'll do is just take out all the frigates here. Uh, the smaller ships are the ones with these small icons here. The bigger one here is a cruiser. And there are no destroyers. I'm going to do is just orbit and keep an eye on the log over here to make sure no high amounts of damages are coming in. It also lets me know how much damage I'm doing and from what ranges. As you can see, compared to that level 1, I am getting a lot more damage put on me. With shield boosting, I prefer to activate my shield when I hit about 50% or so. Just because, since I am on caps here, definitely don't want to waste them. Because once I have to reload, that will be a minute without a shield booster. So I'll start using my auto cans a little farther away to show that they do miss, as you can see here and here. But as I get closer, they do start hitting more, and they do start hitting more damage as well. And one thing to note here is you're seeing a lot of misses. One way to help make sh 
ships that have to use turrets miss you is keep your ship speed up and always keep yourself moving. So what I'll do is deactivate my afterburner and see if any additional damage comes in. So I'll let myself completely slow down and I'll keep moving here. And I'll just keep using my rockets on this guy, they're not much damage but it just keeps him low enough that I can quickly take him out if I have to. And you're seeing they are bringing me down to about 50% here now that I'm not moving as fast. And the mother-in-law, the cruiser here is hitting me now and not missing nearly as frequently as it was before. So what I'll do now is use my shield booster to show that it definitely does work. And I'm going to be switching my target to that Angel Medusa because they were hitting me with a missile that did a significant amount of damage. As you see there, my shield is all better. And I'm just going to wrap this mission up now by getting on top of that angel, or sorry, the mother-in-law, and we're going to orbit at our optimal range of 600 meters, or in this case I'll just orbit 500 since I'm not going to bother setting that. And this is what I meant earlier when they are bigger ships you can just sit on top of them. So I'll, I'll just keep approaching her and keep the range down as lo little as possible. And you can see as I'm sitting on top of her, I'm hitting a lot more damage on this ship compared to the other ships I was shooting. With missions, uh, the shield booster I'm using is normally, or I would say it's better suited for PvP since you want to try and drain your cap faster in PvP. Well, not drain your cap faster, I should say. Um, in PvP you're not so concerned with cap stability, whereas missions you're going to be in there for a good 10 minutes easily. With level 4s it can take up to 30 minutes. So you want to try and stay cap stable. With these low level missions though I'm not too concerned. I just want to get the quick boost in there like this. And get my shield back where I want it. So I'm just going to reload now since I'm not really too concerned with any damage. And now that I've killed the mother-in-law, I'm going to make sure the mission is definitely completed here. And head back to the agent to hand this in. Now this is the first time I'm really using the new agent missions portion of this since it just came out. I didn't think you would have the set destination here, which is fantastic. So you don't even have to right click, you just set destination and it brings you right to the station there. So time to head back.
so it's time to dock up and hand this mission in. So to just wrap this up, I will see you guys next time when I am running level 3 missions in the same ship here. I will more than likely lose the ship. However, um, if I do lose it, we will then take a trip to the trade hub, buy a new ship, and see how that works out. So until next time, toodles!